Justice D.Y. Chandrachud, as the 50th Chief Justice of India, left an indelible mark on the nation's judiciary during his transformative two-year tenure. His rulings resonate beyond the courtroom, influencing the daily lives of millions and shaping the very fabric of Indian society. Each decision reflects his commitment to justice and fair play, addressing pressing issues that confront the contemporary Indian landscape. His legacy is characterized not just by legal doctrines, but by a profound vision of societal equity and environmental responsibility. One of his landmark rulings emphasized climate change as a fundamental right. In the landmark case of M.K. Ranjitsin v. Union of India, Justice Chandrachud boldly expanded the interpretation of Article 21, right to life, alongside Article 14, right to equality. This pivotal judgment underscored the state's responsibility in protecting the environment, merging ecological concerns with human rights, and setting a precedent that environmental justice is an essential part of life. Not only did this reflect an ethical obligation to the planet, but it also paved the way for future litigations focused on sustainability and public well-being. Justice Chandrachud also took a firm stance on child exploitation, criminalizing the possession of child sexual exploitation material in the Just Rights for Children Alliance case. This decision overturned the leniency of previous rulings and aligned Indian law with international child protection standards. His commitment to safeguarding the vulnerable showcased a judicial intent, not only to interpret law, but to actively create a safer society for children reinforcing the principle that justice extends to the most marginalized and innocent members of society. Furthermore, he tackled transparency and political funding by striking down the electoral bonds scheme, a move that fostered accountability within democracy. Addressing the integrity of electoral processes, Justice Chandrachud asserted the public's right to information by mandating disclosure regarding political donations. Such a decision ensures that the flow of money in politics is subjected to scrutiny, thus enhancing the democratic framework in which the government operates. In addition, his rulings regarding the minority status of institutions and regulating bar council fees illustrate a broader vision for equitable access to education and legal representation. By revoking the minority status of Aligar Muslim University, he called for a reassessment of how such statuses are granted ensuring that they serve their intended purpose without privilege or prejudice. Similarly, establishing caps on fees charged by bar councils democratizes legal practice, allowing aspiring advocates from all backgrounds the opportunity to serve justice. Justice Chandrachud's rulings collectively herald a new era of justice, one where law and equity intersect to nurture a richer, fairer Indian society.